checking it. This isn't, this isn't a restriction. Right, so I'll send sending data, sending data to it. Got connection to Facebook, right? Um, well, yes, the connection to YouTube. Yeah, this is Facebook. Now we can now, go now we need to see how it's going to work on this. This is a bit there we go. That's YouTube. Yeah. Well, what about your Facebook? Um, no, right there. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, we're live. Hey! Yay! So we're live on Facebook, and if we go to Twitch, yeah, you won't see it because I turn it off. Yeah, we're, we're live. All right, morning yeah. again. We're live in three different directions okay. at the same time. So All right, now, so now, we just wait. I wait. Okay. So, what do you want me to do with your phone? This is. Well, and so. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to just do you want to just film it? See, pretend now. We'll have a little quick starter. All right. Tell me when you. Oof. Oh, that was good. All right. Let me try and get that so that can. Ready. See? Try to hold it on yours. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making a Spanish tortilla, and there's going to be a live cooking video as well. So if you're on and you want to watch it. Follow me either on Twitch, on YouTube, and also on my Facebook. Hey, bye. Oh, there's me. Watch me. Do you want me to make sure? Okay. Okay, so so, if you switch to the um, we start in chat with everybody else. Mm. So I need I need to uh oh, fix my model. Okay, I don't have um Discord on there. No no I am gonna I'm gonna post on here now. Hi. All right, two minutes. <sighs> One minute. Ooh. Oh, this is using like no power no. at all. Well, you can have to see if you've got some here or not. I've got a no. Okay, my phone. No, I need to Okay. Let's see how this goes today. From my headphones into my phone as well. Let's see how the audio is. I can see it. I can make it see. But I assume. One minute. <laughs> now I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, I just know. that thing, thing is me. If people are chatting, just enjoy it. Like, I know. Just... I know, it's, it's the initial adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, it's when you ease into it, you just forget about it. Yeah. Okay, so. Divide button. No, 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 it's already done. It's already done. So I just press the point. Yeah. Right. So you want me there? 15 seconds. Oh, see, I did. Must have the audio on. No? I can hear it. It's talking. 
All right, well, hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today we're doing something a little different. We're streaming live, and this is the first video on Twitch as well as YouTube, and um, we're also doing Facebook. So again, we're working out all the little kinks and bugs and everything, and I think we have a little bit of something going on with the audio again, but you know, well, anyway, we'll fix it. So anyway, guys, if you're new here to the channel, welcome to my channel. I've been, my name is James Makinson. I've been cooking for the past woof, 10, 12 plus years all around the world. And today I'm living in Barcelona and today we're going to be cooking something Spanish. We're going to be making a Spanish tortilla, which is a very common thing that you'll see here. It's a very tasty dish as well. And it's not, it can be a little tricky to get right the first time, but if you follow some easy and simple steps, it should be easy, or you should be able to make it easily at home. So today I'm going to sort you through this, and Jim is also here helping me set everything up, so he doesn't want to say hi, but <laughs> he will in the chat. So anyway, guys, um, we're going to start, well, making the uh, tortilla española, okay? So let's see, I'm still learning the keys because I have to do this by myself. Number one. Three. Number three. <laughs> Okay, so today we're going to be making, uh, if I get my knife out, today we're going to be making, like I said, a Spanish tortilla, and it's going to be the simple one. So you have many different types. Today we're going to be doing, uh, well, a Spanish tortilla with caramelized onions. So first we're going to start peeling the onions. And when you're making this, the easiest thing for me is to julienne the onions instead of burnoising them or cutting them into smaller dice. And if anybody's online, ah, taste buds, hi! Now's the time to talk to me since I'm by myself, so I have nobody to entertain me with because Jim's being quiet talking on the chat. Hi. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, he's here, but he doesn't want to uh, talky talk. Hello, Emma. So, since everybody's coming in, well, if anybody has, if they could tell me if they've had a Spanish tortilla before, if they know what it is, or if they've even tried making one at home. Hi, Emma. <laughs> See? Yeah. Well, Jim, you're uh, you're going to be cooking soon, aren't you, on your channel again? Because Jim has his own Twitch channel. Oh, he has two channels. He has a gaming channel, and he also has a new cooking channel, My Spanish Kitchen, as well as on YouTube. So be sure to check them out. But he wants to start cooking again, and he will win June six. June 6th, July 6th. July 6th, sorry, June 6th. And today we're going to be making a Spanish tortilla. Oh, you had it in Mallorca? Yeah, no, it's very common. And, well, on other days we're going to be making some other things. I've made a lot of paellas. I've made a lot. So we'll be making some more Spanish uh, cuisine and more Spanish food later on. But today, this is one of the most classical things that you'll see when you come to Spain. And I'm just trying to read the chat from over here. It's a little difficult. Let's see. Well, Huh? Sounds good. Yeah, it does. Well, when you were you when you were in Mallorca, what other things did you have when you were there in Spain? Because they, we have a lot of food here. You have a lot of croquetas, paella, and then in Catalonia you even have more things. Sobrasada. Yeah, filewa. You also have uh, what is it? Fricando, which is another thing, it's with meat, a lot of meat. Yes. Perhaps, uh, 
Sangria? Sí, lots of sangria. Yeah, sangria is also another very common thing here. Especially in summer, because right now is the perfect time for it with the weather. And I have, today is one of those days that I wish we were at the beach because it's like, what, 90, 85, 90 Fahrenheit? And about, oof, I don't know, we're almost about 30 degrees in centigrade, so. Oh. All right, now when making the tortilla, yeah, quick note, um, I'll change the camera in a second. I like to try to caramelize the onions first because the onions, it takes a long time to caramelize onions. And today we don't have the time to do, ooh, ooh, it's a little washed out, but today we don't have, you know, hours and hours and hours and hours of cooking. So the best thing to do is put them on first. And I made a video about, ooh, last year, I think about around the same time, um, on how to make a Spanish tortilla, which if you want to watch that as well, it's a very, it's the same recipe as today. And it's, I explained, I explained well, and it's a little bit of a shorter video if you want to watch that for next time on how to make it. And this is a lot of oil in the pan, but we typically, <laughs> we, we use a lot of oil. Oh, thank you. Hi. Can you boil the potatoes as well? Boil that. No. All right. So with making the Spanish tortillas here, they typically pan fry or shallow fry the the uh, potatoes. They do not boil them. Yeah. It's also going to have a bit of a different texture. So if you want to make, say, a low-fat potato, or well, let's say, um, well, yeah. It's, you know, not as oily, then yeah, you can try boiling them, or you can even try cooking them a little bit in the microwave beforehand. I don't, because I don't like using these methods, especially when I'm going to be cooking, say, a Spanish tortilla. It doesn't have the same type of flavor when you take it out. Oh, don't worry, Jim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Say hi. <laughs> so, so, no, you can if you want. Yes, it's fully possible. But, it's not the authentic way of making it. So, if you want to, it's okay. Oh, hello. And where is everybody from today? Because I have a lot of faces on YouTube that I know, as well as other people that are brand new. Oh. There's Mario. Hello. Uh, my. Well, it's also a possibility uh, taking the potassium out of the potato. Uh, there's also another possibility that you can supplement and not use potatoes when making a tortilla. It is the base ingredient, but you don't have to use potatoes. You can use other ingredients. You can use peppers, courgettes, spinach. Oh. You can use spinach. It's not that important to use just potatoes. Hi guys, oh, a lot of people are coming in now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Miriam. Oh, yes. What I said, I see you on Twitch. I'm glad to be on Twitch, finally. We work together. Hi, me too. I miss arts. Hi, because I, I was in arts. Well, I was in arts for about two years. I was in banqueting. As well as Puerto Frio. Oh, so you worked with Kelly Yeah. Uh, I worked with a lot of people in hotel arts. A lot of practicas, a lot of other chefs, and I miss a lot of my practicas. I had a lot of good ones. A lot of good guys, a lot of good kids. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that you have kidney failure. Well, yeah, no, it's when Spanish cuisine is tasty. But you have to, not everything is extremely healthy. There are some dishes that we're frying today, so it's, that's not that healthy. Um, paella would be, rice is a little bit of a better option as well. And, well, I know you have to be careful though when you have crumbs like this. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, so my dad's from England as well. Well, Jim's from England as well, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
bit old blighty. Yeah, I know. Well, I was in London for a while, so I used to work in live in London, and then my dad was from the uh, London area. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna put these on low, well, a little faster, so they're cooking away. Is if you're gonna use onions, yeah, to caramelize. Typically, you don't use this much oil, but since we are in Spain. We're using a lot more oil than you would otherwise. And in, in normal cooking, this much oil with a bit of the fire here is like a big no-no. Don't worry about it. After you work here uh, a few years, you get very used to burning yourself, and it's not a problem. So anyway, with the onions, to caramelize them, you want to, we want to evaporate the moisture. It's important to take it out. Hi, working hard, yes. I know, you're going to have to go to lunch soon. No, that's not a problem. If Don't worry about it. And I appreciate everybody at least coming in to say hi. That's the most important thing, especially when none of this was planned. Absolutely nothing. So that's not a problem if you have to go to, back to work. I like on this. Oh, yes, I love on this too. It's funny though, is that we typically eat omelets for, uh, well, breakfast and all that. Here, the tortilla is more for, well, we call it pica pica, which is like bites, which you have like tapas okay. and teeth. Uh, yeah, very good. And in France, well, it's more for lunch. Mm -hmm. They eat the omelets. They don't eat it really for breakfast. In America, we eat it for breakfast. All right, so that's the way. That's cooking. All right, now we're going to peel the potatoes. This is the, this is an important step, at least for me, it's good to peel the potatoes. However, there is a lot of nutrients underneath the potato skin if you want to keep it on. It's the, also the easy way of making the uh, tortilla. And if you are going to peel it though, the easiest thing, I've said it a lot of times on my YouTube channel, but the easiest thing to do is to do it, either have a tray here, yeah? Or to do it in the sink somewhere because when you're peeling and I'll, I explain this a lot better in other videos but when you're peeling you can take your little peeler just like this you're pinching it and you're just going to work your way down and turn it and the more potatoes that you peel yeah the better you get you've got Luna Knight saying hello on Twitch oh hello Luna Knight now, Jim has a very good following on Twitch, and I need to, uh, well, the next time that you're going live with your game, I need to say <laughs> hi to everybody, because I, I've been at this past week, week and a half has been crazy busy for me, because this past weekend we had a wedding to go to, a friend's wedding, which was all day, and it was a perfect day, actually, to be wearing a suit because it was raining a bit, and then... Yesterday, a birthday party as well, and today I feel a little out of everything because, well, we have a lot of stuff going on, but we've had a pretty good week this past week. How's everybody's week been so far? Thank you, Max. Yes, sun. Um, what's the sun? <laughs> uh, because, the, well, there, there is a lot, you know. Paella? Products? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, well, for instance, I like paella, but I can't eat the, well, I can't eat shellfish, so I can't, I have to make it because it's my life with, with working, <laughs> but I can't eat it, um, which I wish I could, but I can't. So, I have to have other options. Hey! <laughs> oh, you're, well, enough people are turning yeah. out. This is a great stream today. Like I said, for not actually planning anything today, I'm very happy that all of you are here. So, thank you very much. Mishika. Where are you from, Mishika? Trying to tell 
I'm gonna have to switch because this is a little, it's cooking a little fast. Thank you very much. Do you own a restaurant? Emma. No, I don't, Emma. No, I, I like to, but it's a lot of money here to buy a restaurant, to buy a business, and to start your own business. It's a little too much, especially getting started. Um, and actually, I don't know. I mean, years ago, I, was, I would love to have owned my own restaurant, but after working so much, I think catering is the way to go. It's a lot, e I'm, I'm more used to catering with banqueting and everything. And it's a lot easier as well, because you know exactly when you have the events, the staff, the locations, the food, it's a lot easier. But uh, no, I mean, as well as if I had a little like food truck, that would be another option. I don't know. We'll see. And in a couple of years, see what happens. It is from India. Well, that's excellent. So, is anybody here, or how many, who, well, I should say, cooks at home? Because I know that a lot of people don't really like to cook at home. You like to cook at oh, home? Of course, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, so, the onions are, they're not going to be fully caramelized today, but we're cooking them as much as we can first. So that's fine. That's going, that's going good. Now for the potatoes, we're just going to cut them into smaller pieces. Uh, you can see me. Yes. Uh, and like I said, it's hot here. I'm wearing shorts. Shorts and flip flops. <laughs> Amy is my niece. Oh, your niece? Hello, Amy. How are you? So today, Jim has helped me a lot getting everything sorted and set up. Well, I thank him dearly for this. I'm going to be making the tortilla as well, and he's going to taste it <laughs> at the end. However, James is controlling everything on his own today. Yeah, yes, this one. All right, so with the potatoes, um, you want them more or less the same size. The thicker you cut them, the longer they're going to take to cook, which, as always, is just something to know. And if you think that you don't have enough space in the pan don't worry about it don't add too much but you can add a little in at a time and we want to cook the potatoes just until they're fully cooked not until they're mushy not until not until it's like mashed potatoes but just until they're perfectly cooked because otherwise they're going to absorb too much oil like, and a, good, like a good blanche yeah, see, because, you, all right, you could technically confit. Yeah. Yeah, you could confit the potatoes, but um, it's not the best option when you want to caramelize and cook everything at once. Oh, Emma says she came across you on Uncle Matt's coffee channel. Oh, really? Our, our good friend, Matt. Hi. Oh, and Matt's been a busy boy on his channel. He's been busy on TikTok. Ooh, he's been doing really good on TikTok though. Some of the short videos, really good. We, need, we should do another thing collab with yeah, Matt. Absolutely. I wish Matt was a, lived a little closer because then you know, he could actually be here. Well, he could come on holiday, couldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he could. It'd be like three amigos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if you didn't, if you guys are new to my channel, yes, uh, Matt, who has another cooking channel, he's a chef as well, yes, and Jim, myself, and Matthew, all of us made a three-way collab, uh, ooh, back in what, was that January or March. February, March, and we all had to pick a, well, to pick an item, and we picked chicken, all of us, to do together. And each of us made something different, but it was all pretty much a sim similar idea in a way, wasn't it? Uh, 
Okay, now if it's a little too much for the pan, don't worry about it. You don't have to put all the potatoes in. But anytime that you're cooking with this, because the potatoes, the onions, all of them have, all of it has water. And when you cook the potatoes and the onions, they start to shrink because they evaporate or the water evaporates. Okay, and that's pretty much as full as I want the pan. Okay, well that's going to cook and maybe I'll add some more of the potato. Oh, that's good. It sounds really good. Does it? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I can't hear myself. I only hear myself today because I don't have any headphones in. And, well, if this is successful, then I can save up a little bit and get a little... Lapel <laughs> uh, well. mic. Because it makes a big difference. Do, 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 do. Oh, guys, don't be afraid to talk. Yes, it's just me today here. So... <laughs> So, how many how many tortillas would you cook like in, in a um, serving like in like because it's for breakfast you still do tortillas in the hotel yeah yeah so you, how many tortillas would you cook in a, in a serving uh, was French omelette a hell of a lot ah oh, okay yeah. the Spanish omelette or a Spanish tortilla a few but not that many no a few or in Francis. Like no, I, no, 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 here in oh, Spain. Oh, you did this one? You did yeah. the French right here in Hotel Arts? Yeah, well, oh, yes, okay. no, of course, because Hotel Arts is, is arts. You get anything you want. I mean, you know, if you're paying for five stars, <laughs> that's it. You get, um, uh, right, how much do you think a penthouse costs in arts? Four. At the time, a penthouse, the penthouse. <laughs> there are four penthouses. No idea. That's yeah. ridiculous. Just take a guess. Per night? Per night. 2,000 euros. No, for the penthouse, though. I don't know. Fourteen and a half thousand. Per night. Per night. I, if I remember correctly. Wow. Per night. And there's several of them. Yeah? It's not just one. So we would cook for a lot of the royal families. We used to have the uh, royal families from Saudi Arabia. They would come over. They'd buy out the entire level, the the whole thing, and stay for a month or two. And we would have to... We, would, we had a lot of food that we would have to... Um, or um, stations that we would have to replenish and everything. And all my colleagues from Hotel Arch remember this. It was a lot of work. It was fun, but it was a lot of work. But it's very different because there's all, we have a lot of like dates and we had our Arab chef there as well, making all the dishes for uh, helping us make it because he knew a lot of, more about the cuisine than us. Did, did you, did you prepare, uh, prepare in your kitchen and downstairs and take up or did you prepare anything upstairs in the penthouses? No, 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 no. No, everything was downstairs in the main kitchen. Okay. Because, uh, well, Arch is a, you don't, if you're not from Barcelona or from Spain, then, well, that's an extra potato, that's okay. But if you're not from, uh, if you haven't been to, to Barcelona, Hotel Arts, when you fly in, there's two massive towers in the city, yes? And it looks like the Twin Towers in, in Barcelona. One of the towers is an insurance company, yeah? Map Free or... Yeah, Map Free. Map Free. And then the other one is Hotel Arts. And you have some amazing views from the top of Hotel Arts. Because we used to do a few events up in the top, just underneath the spa, a few cocktail parties and such. But you have views from, and well, you have views all over the city and all over the Mediterranean, at least from our point. So, absolutely beautiful. I'd like to go back and record it, because now I have my camera, but... <laughs> <you know. laughs> Okay, so on the on the low fire, this has to cook, and this will continue cooking for another 10, 15 minutes. So we have today we have time for Q and A. <laughs> so feel free yeah, to ask yeah. questions. Yeah, Ma, I know exactly how you feel. Trust me, all of us are in the same boat. <laughs> I especially after the last year or two. Mm -hmm. The past year's been hard. Um, yeah, the economy in Barcelona, because Barcelona's all tourism. And, well, Spain is mostly tourism as well. So, yeah, it was, Spain was hit a little hard. And this year, I think everything's going to pick back up again, because uh, Spain recently, this past week, they just reopened. 
and we're starting to get a lot more tourists now. Yeah. And summer, obviously, the weather's a lot better. So everybody has the well, like in Spanish, it's like getting uh, las ganas. You know, you, you have the need, you want to get out and do something instead of just being cooped up in the house and uh, well, staying in the house all the time. I mean, it's, it's getting it's getting better here. We obviously the vaccination rollout's good. Mm. Um, they they've opened it up to like everybody to travel, except like maybe the United States still. I mm. don't think they can come. No. Can they? The the only thing is though, if you're coming from the UK, you have to take a lot of tests, don't you? Yeah, well, you don't need the test for entering now. It's just when you get back to the UK, so you need the two tests. Yeah. But I don't know. I want to go back to England, though. It's been several years since I've been back. But did you hear the good news about the masks from next Tuesday? Oh, yeah. We don't have to wear the mask. Yeah, I'm walking down the street anymore. I can't wait. Yeah, I know. This is a big thing for us because it's hot here as well. So, all right. I I don't want to get into politics or anything, but it's just a personal preference. I don't like wearing it. If I have to wear it into a shop or anything, okay. A ballet, all right. To at least be conscious of other people, yes. But when I'm literally in the middle of nowhere with nobody around me, hiking in the mountains means, or anything else, I mean, seriously, no. Because, trust me, it gets a little hard to breathe. Big Fluffy's here. Hey, hey. Big Fluffy, yeah. Hey. We call him the Floof. <laughs> the Floof. Mr. McFloof. <laughs> Seriously, you're still in the in the UK. Well, in, in different different uh, well, rules in different parts of the UK, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of my friends in the UK are fine. Oh, just so you guys can see. Sorry, well, you can't see that. Yeah, one. Well, you can see a little bit. It's washed out. But anyway, <laughs> the onions are caramelizing. Yes. And they're still they're continuing to cook. You want to move it occasionally, just so it doesn't burn, because this has with the starch in the potatoes. The potential to burn very easily, especially when you're using gas heat or direct heat. I'm just fixing something right now. Okay. He's very good. Huh? I wish we lived closer. That's a few? No, it's not even. I know it's washed down. Yeah, that's better. Hey, Mars. Good morning. Yeah, well, it's it's about midday here. What time is it your time? I, well, okay, originally, yeah, I wanted to, uh, Mars. I wanted to, um, I wanted to stream, well, a game stream on Twitch. Um, because I have been gaming a lot. I've been gaming since I was little, so I like gaming. But mm, cooking is my profession, it's my cuisine, it's, you know, it's what I know. I know how to do it. It's a lot better than just playing multiplayer or anything on Battlefield 5, Battlefield 4, etc, etc. So, we decided to do a cooking channel instead on Twitch as well. Which, I think, will turn out to be good. Because I have quite a decent following on YouTube. And I know a lot of people on YouTube after this past year. Well, for everybody that's watching on YouTube, if you go to twitch.tv uh, forward slash Chef James Backinson, yeah? No, no, if you go to Twitch and type in one, one word because yeah. it, it doesn't differentiate. Chef James Mackinson. Uh, well, or what my name is on my channel and the title on YouTube. And if you can please follow me as well, as well as go over to Jim's channel in you know, my Spanish kitchen, it'll be fantastic. Yeah. Seriously, because it, as everybody knows who, have, who has tried to do anything online, especially with YouTube, it's not easy the first few weeks. It's very, very difficult. Hey, Fluffy, do it. you're doing paper, you're working right now. Hi. So it's uh, half past one. Is so it? In the UK. Oh yeah, yeah. See, 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 see. Yeah. What's Twitch? Uh, tw <laughs> what? Can we explain? Tw <laughs> okay. No, no. But Twitch is uh, okay. Well, live streaming basically developed with Twitch for gaming, for for videos, for everything. And technically, it's a gaming type channel. 
there are a few cooking channels on Twitch because of the live streaming. Now, um, I'm trying to do both with YouTube and Twitch. Obviously, I'm on YouTube. So, you know, that's how it is, and I'm trying to diversify. The one thing I will add to that, though, is that if you follow you on Twitch, for, for example, as, as the channel builds, there's a lot more interactivity on Twitch between the viewer and the presenter. There's a lot more things that you can do on Twitch that you can't do on YouTube. Mm. Obviously, Twitch offers things like more emotes and more mm. things, just just a lot more interactivity in general. Yeah. Because Twitch, is, Twitch was designed for streaming from the ground up, See. whereas YouTube was for videos originally. See. So, well, I'm going to go back to this because you keep saying my pants. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, but no, I mean, I like both, but I grew up with YouTube all the time, so I'm used to YouTube. Because, I mean, this is what I use all the time for everything. Um, I am curious about lots of paperwork. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, my career doesn't have a lot of paperwork. Well, we have a lot of paperwork in the office, but we also have to do a lot of uh, prep and, you know, a lot of physical, physical yeah, work. Like, what do you mean? Is like, that's a really special type of person to be a carer, I think, you yeah. know, it's like, I, I know it's something that, like, it takes a lot of strength and a lot of really patience does. and stuff like that, so Fluke is like, yeah, he's doing a good oh, job, oh, we'll, oh, we'll all need somebody probably, <laughs> eventually, <laughs> me, me probably sooner than you, like, oh, <laughs> I know, well, that's why in the old days a lot of people used to have a lot of children, isn't it, because then, you know, one of them would take care of you, but the houses also used to be a little bigger, especially in the US, the big country houses, why do you think I have six children? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I'm an only child, so, yeah. You'll have to look after yourself. You know, it's, 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 it's a little hard being an only child, working a lot. You know, you, you always have to rely on yourself unless you have a good friend. Like Jim, <laughs> who helps me all the time with the videos. Been good? It's yeah. Great all right, so... It is a little bit of a long process, yeah? But the best thing with cooking is the longer it takes, typically, is the when you develop the flavors. Because the potatoes have to cook. And you can either... Where's my peri knife? Okay. So... It's one of those things that you really notice. With almost the done, yeah? Really, yeah? Almost. It, the potatoes are like al dente... You know, it's just when you can still feel the starch. I, another thing, then this is a, it's a personal preference, but it's a little important, is that when you are making a tortilla at home, don't smash the, the uh, potatoes while it's in the hot oil, because we're going to strain it, and if you smash the potatoes when it's in the hot oil, the potatoes will start to absorb more oil, and then you're going to have an extra fatty tortilla, which is not healthy for you, because we're frying instead of just cooking. And there's my food pet guy. <laughs> yeah, no, he, 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 he does a lot. And honestly, he could do a lot of tech work, yeah, and charge money for it, and he should, because he has a lot of experience with it. Indonesia? Indonesia, well, everybody. We have a, a lot of people from around the world today. If I make red wine tomorrow sauce, I'll make it out if people going to think it tastes better. Yeah, it does. No, yeah, no, 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 so it does, it does. Anytime with, well, when you make demi, when you make, uh, well, any of the sauces, even stocks and chicken stock or velouté or anything, it takes hours. You need to cook it, yes. And a lot of, I like making brown chicken stock because it has more flavor than just a normal white chicken stock, but, you know, it does. Well, cooking is better. Just for reference, if any, if anybody on YouTube is wondering who you're talking to that they can't see, is that because uh, James is streaming oh, yeah. to Facebook, uh, Twitch, and YouTube at the same time. So sometimes you might see him um, responding to Mr. Mc, Mr. McFluffy, the food, but you won't see him in the YouTube chat. So yeah, no, why. no, no, yeah, no, that's right, Jim. Is that we're on three different platforms right now, which is really cool because this is new to me. This is all new tech, and well, we're trying something out. Pasta baked bean. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you should never knock a baked bean, a good, a good baked bean. No, all right. Well, I have to admit, though, I haven't been eating baked beans since I've been here, or pork beans. 
Because normally, for an easy dinner, because I, my dad was English, so we typically do this beans and toast for dinner. I mean, mm-hmm. an easy dinner, like super easy. A little egg, beans and toast, and that's it. Well, okay, quick question for everybody that's still on. What's your favorite dish to make at home? Like your absolute favorite, if you cook at home. And I think if there's any requests for you to cook in future as well. Yeah, uh, well, and that's going to be a little later. <laughs> Not today. We have to keep it below budget, though. It has to be, you know, within the budget. It can't be over. No, no swan's necks. No, 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 you can't get those. No, things like beef Wellington and everything. No, 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 no. no. Swan Wellington. No, swan Wellington. No, 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 no. Actually, no, pork here, pork's pretty cheap, huh? Pork is good. Really, pork's yeah. good, eh? And we're, and we're lucky with, like, pigs in general. Pancakes. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. My, my, my niece loves yeah. pancakes. Well, she yeah, but not American pancakes. No, right? the British style. The British pancakes, yes. Yeah. Because there's a but, difference. But it's not, they're not like the French ones. The French ones are like the are really thin. So the British I like ones are like in, in between the two, yeah. yeah? No, but I'll tell you, this is the thing is, I don't want to make a crepe unless I have the machine to make a proper crepe. You can make them with a pan, and I have to get a, spe- a better pan for them. But I would like to make some crepes. What's cooking at Mom's Kitchen? Hey! <laughs> well, hey, for everybody that's just showed up without actually knowing that I was going to do this today, thank you very much, yeah? Because, seriously, this is it's excellent that all of you are here. I appreciate it a lot, because this wasn't planned. Today, literally, Jim was just going to come over and said, okay, and well, we're going to yeah, we're, we're set up today, and that's it, so that that way you can go live, but James, we're cooking tomorrow, so what? I haven't gone to the store, because you can't go to the store, and Sunday I was at the wedding, and, well, okay, well, I have a few eggs, I have potatoes, and we'll make a tortilla, no? it's, it's typical here. Good practice. Yeah, it's good practice, besides, I haven't made a t- another tortilla video, I made one that was there, and it was popular, too, for a while. All right, now if yeah, because you can do this, it's very messy. Just so you know, extremely messy. Everything's oily. Um, you can make a lot of this in a bigger pot. All the oil, or oh, sorry, all the oil, all with all the oil, with all the onions and the potatoes. Make a big batch of it and let it cook on a very slow fire to really caramelize everything, and then save all of this. Put it in the fridge and save it. And whenever you want a tortilla, you take a portion out, yes, add a little bit of egg, or heat it up first because it's cold, mm-hmm. add a little bit of egg later, after draining the oil out, the excess oil, and you can make a perfect tortilla. DIY cooking with Jasmine. Hey, Jasmine. Or is cooking I got cut with? Go fast check. I got my hands in it. I saw that you are doing really good. I'm glad to be here. Oh, thank you. And no, it's... I'm happy to do it. I'm still it's a little strange to do a live video because I mean I like the live videos better. It's less work for me because literally some of these videos they take <laughs> 20 hours to make, but you can cut out all the you know all the pieces that nobody really wants to see. But I don't know. And that's why I do both. Thank you for the shout out there. What's cooking? I really love your videos too. Oh, thank you. I really need to get back in the kitchen and make some myself. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> Can't beat it. Chocolate spread. Mm. Yeah, 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 with a crepe chocolate. Ooh, Nutella. No, no, well, I can't eat Nutella. Oh, no, of course. <laughs> yeah, you get weird allergies when you get older. Yeah, no hazelnuts. I love chocolate. I love chocolate too. Chocolate I can eat. All right, so if you can see, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can see a little better. Yes? Mm-hmm. All right, so. All right, it's caramelized. It's a little more caramelized in person than what you can see in the camera because it's it's not the right. It's not the exact same color. But anyway, you want a little bit, yeah. You want a little bit. And when the potatoes, they're starting to break apart now, so it's done. This is the moment that you want to take them out gently, and we're going to strain the uh, the mix here. And then of course. The easiest way to strain when you're dealing with hot oil, do it in the sink. You don't need any accidents at home. One of the big, big, big no no's is having a big accident with the oil. Okay. 
Where's the strainer? Okay. So typically what I do is I take a little pot, I put it in the sink with the faucet away because it's, the oil is boiling, it's hot. I'm going to take the pan, if you can see, see? Yeah, you can see. Okay. And I'm just going to pour it into the pot because you want to save the oil. You only used it once. Um, and if you want to make it correctly, you want to use olive oil. It's not a necessity, but if you want to make it correctly. Now, you're going to let that sit for a few minutes to let the oil drain. And, well, we can talk a little more. This is a very, it's a low work, a lot of waiting. I love to tell you, this is my mom, mom by the way. Oh, is it your mom? Yeah, it's your mom. Oh, hi. I when Jim didn't tell me. I just, I just remembered. <laughs> she, she, it's nice, isn't I, it? You I just, just remembered, remembered because Luna is the name of her cat. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Can you avoid to the Hey, Carrie Carry from Food Vibration Live. Hey. Yeah, well, Jim's going to start cooking, don't worry. And then this summer, well, I can go down there and help him one day. We can do something Absolutely. together. We were talking about doing a, cooking, a live cooking video together. Doesn't matter which channel. Well, I'll probably do both at the same time. But Carrie is from Colombia. Oh, Colombia? Yeah, Colombia, oh. yeah. And is she still in Colombia? No, no, she's in Scotland. Scotland? Yeah, born in Scotland. Yeah. How is the accent for you in Scotland? <laughs> no, because uh, no, even uh, she has a bit of a hard time understanding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not easy for our non-native uh, speakers, even for English speakers, it's not that easy. I think, I think, I think um, Carrie has more problem with the the public transport than the language. How is the public? She, she, she just doesn't like travelling on buses. Yeah. She hates, she gets very like sick travelling on buses. Oh, does she? Well, Scottish buses are those very tight bends. I don't know, no, I've never been to Scotland. I've oh, never been? Go. No. Oh, okay. Because uh, I'm, a, I'm a bagpiper as well. I used to compete and I got quite good at it. Um, a lot of years competing and everything. And all my friends every year would go over to compete in Scotland and I never did. It wasn't that... Uh, well, it was the flights are were a little uh, pricey. So anyway, I didn't go over to Scotland to compete, and I really wanted to. Um, now I'm in Europe, and hopefully in this well not this year, but you know maybe another year. Uh, no, Jim's curly hair. Yeah, I, no, don't worry. It's hard for us to, to understand this. Jim, maybe not so much. Me, I'm used to it because. I had a lot of Scottish instructors, but you get the odd person that has a very strong Scottish brogue accent. It's a little difficult to understand. Eat the plastic. Very for us. I you get into your show, man. No, don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. They like keep seeing like a mobile phone or an arm coming to the show. Just remembering the keys. It's okay. <laughs> We're just moving around. All right. So now, well, no, 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 no. Yeah. this one. Right. Yeah. So now, yeah. like I said, a Spanish tortilla is not that much work, and actually, next time we'll do other things. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mix, yes, I'm going to put it into a little bowl. This is an important step, by the way. Very, very important. I'm going to take five eggs, or the amount that I'm using. And I should have, at least in YouTube, I should have all the measurements down below. And right now, you're going to add five eggs to the mix. It is hot, don't worry about it. So for the people on Twitch who didn't get the instructions because we can't put all the description, we've used about Ooh. three large potatoes, one full onion. Yeah, no, I have the, okay, one big onion normally and uh, three... Mostly about almost a kilo yeah. of potatoes and with a fork. Almost a kilo of potatoes, a large onion. You can put a little more than an onion in, especially if you cook the onions before. And um, a little bit of salt. You can add a little bit of oregano as well. You're going to caramelize everything, cook up everything through. And this is the moment that you add salt. Do you just want to show that up on the, just over the... In a sec. The cold right now. See. In a sec. Put the pot and oil in the pan. Take the oil out too of the sink before you wash your hands. 
That's not good. Okay. So. Okay. You're going to mix. Yes. Now, you see how runny this is. This is extremely runny. What we're going to do, it can be a normal bowl as well. It doesn't have to be metal. We're going to cover it, but I'm going to add some oregano, dried oregano. I love oregano. Mr. Mr. McFluffy is hosting your video on Twitch as well. Is he? Which means that anybody who goes to his channel will see your video in life right now. Thank you. Seriously, I'm new to Twitch. This is totally new to me. But Twitch has some cool features on it. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay, so this is just from my perspective. I add herbs to a lot of what I make at home. Oregano is common. You can add thyme to tomato. I like thyme. It's another good ingredient. Okay. The, the longer you spend living with the thyme, the more um, you are used to saying the words for herbs in Spanish as well. Now I say tomato all the time. And I forget, I, I don't even remember what albahaca is anymore. Where it's, um, albahaca. Is, um, basil. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Albahaca. Oy, how oh, this kitchen is small. Anyway, that's going to sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to put a timer on. And we'll have more time to talk and chat. Any questions, feel free to ask me. Yeah? Any, any cooking questions, Spanish questions. One, give me one sec. Do, 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 ten, ten minutes. Yeah, me too. The, okay. the one, uh, okay. Here, the one herb that I cannot find at all. Chervil. Ah, absolutely. I love chervil. It's very difficult, difficult in the UK. Yeah, well, no, I, tried to get no but even, well. even, in, even when I was working in France, I couldn't find chervil, not in the grocery stores, not in Super U, not in any of the other uh, grocery stores. It's difficult to get, I understand, but it's like, I don't know, well, we can get it in the kitchen. You know, the you one, pay a lot for it. The one that's really common in England, that I found really hard to get in Spain, and I've just found it in a very small what local supermarket, in, in a market, not a yeah. supermarket, but in a market. See your hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that is sage. Salvia, as they call it. Now in oh, Spain, right. it's because they use salvia no. for medicinal purposes, not for cooking. I don't know, I know but, but, but in the UK, using sage is a very common thing. Yeah, but no, we have sage growing. My parents have sage growing in the garden at home. I pick it. It's easy. Well, we have a lot. My parents have a massive garden because we have like five acres. So my dad's English, so he has a massive garden. He's growing squash, pumpkins, fruit tomatoes, apples, he has herbs, he has artichokes, he has asparagus, the whole lot, everything, everything, five types of squash. He loves growing stuff. You know what you can't get here? I mean, you can't get too many here. You can get pumpkins, you get the butternut squash. No, 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 no. I'll tell you, if anybody that's not from here, mm -hmm. it's the same word for pumpkin and for butternut squash. Yeah, exactly. The same. It's very confusing when you want one. And it... It messed me up the first time because when I was working in the kitchen at Arts, they said to get the uh, calabaza. The calabaza <laughs> and it's a pumpkin. And that's not a calabaza. It's a c -c 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 calabaza. I said, no, it's not calabaza. C -c 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 -c. I said, no, no, mira, in English it's pumpkin. We have different words because we grow a lot of squash. So now it doesn't throw you off. But yeah, it's like, but, you, but then you can't find... I like, like spaghetti the, squash. That's what, that's what I want to mention. It's, yeah. it's so hard to find here. Yeah. I don't think I've found one. Like, no. But spaghetti squash is amazing. Yeah, it is. Well, my dad grows Blue Hubbard as well. Which one? Blue Hubbard squash. Well, oh, I've never seen that. No. No. It's blue. It's massive. Oh. They're big. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. I forget the name of it. It's an Italian one. It's, um... I forget the name. It's an Italian name for it. It looks like an acorn. It's about this big. I forget you. But acorn squash? Acorn squash? What? No, yeah, but it's specifically an Italian uh, version of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I forget. I, I've forgotten a lot since I've been away. British cooking. Yeah, yes. that's the, the, the sage. We, like, we, uh, you know, you're stuffing in America, yeah? Yeah. That you put inside of chicken and stuff like that. 
Well, not in anymore. Well, well on the side, but yeah. it used to be inside, but now it's always cooked outside. Yeah. For salmonella reasons, yes, yeah, it's, it's exactly. health reasons. It's well, the, the, the most so, typical one mm -hmm. in the UK is sage and onion. Yeah, so, sorry, now guys, I'm not ignoring you. I'm <laughs> talking to Jim. Yes, <laughs> yeah. and he doesn't want to be on camera. He's no. very camera shy. I don't. I hate being on. I'm I know, on camera. I, I know this. See, and then I'm here, but I'm looking this way. I I am paying attention to you. Yes. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Well, I, we're going to be cooking again in a few minutes. Now is the time to take a little break if you want. But anyway, guys, like I said before, if you're new, thank you for coming today to the channel. Because we didn't plan this. This was a last minute thing. And yeah, I know the good thing said. Uh, no, but <laughs> I mean, I'm making a tortilla. I, I made, last time we came over, no, the time before that I made a tortilla as well. So it's been it's been a month. No, so I, I don't it's, cook it's okay. Years, huh? yeah. <laughs> so if you cook the onions longer, it, they're even better. That's because they're sweeter. Camera shy, making his hands in the Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, yeah. I know he's very camera shy, but then he he games all the time with the camera next to him. But you've noticed that he gets his wife or Alex on the camera as well mm -hmm. to take the. Take the, the attention away from him, so it's on them instead. No, I'm doing it because this is your show. This is the James making. It doesn't show. matter. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter because honestly, like I said, I would love to do something together because it's more entertaining than, than just seeing one person on the camera talking and that's it. It's not that entertaining. At least for me, it's not that entertaining. Maybe for others. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, um, Carrie, which is Food, Vib Food Vibration Live, she, mm. she does all her streams on, on her own every, every no, single time. No, I know, I saw that. So, yeah. No, she does good, actually. Because it's not easy getting the camera set up by yourself and trying to do everything, because I'm new to it. Jim knows everything, I'm new. At least I have him to help. <laughs> Next time you're on your own. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think it'll be fine next time. I have to get another little, uh, well, get a little boom and to uh, get another little camera set up. But besides that, next time you're just going to have like one, mm -hmm. unless I get another camera. Um, all right, so I'm going to clean up. Feel free to keep talking as amongst yourselves or ask me some questions as well. I'm just going to tidy up a bit. <coughs> do, 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 do. What does everyone think of the um, camera angles that we've got set up, by the way? Because obviously, on the main camera, we've got this wide view, and then we've got this like, slightly punched in view, which James can use. He hasn't, he's, he's still not showing himself when he's speaking, you noticed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't want to scare everybody. Yeah, I know, but everybody sees my. Sh <laughs> everybody <laughs> sees. Uh, okay, it looks a little weird, but trust me. This is all cotton, 100% cotton, and it's a little hot today, especially while cooking. And you should see how the chefs walk and wear things in the kitchen normally. Practicar y practicar. Sí, no, no, no. Más practicar. Es la cosa más importante, ¿no? Oh, oh, thank you, Emma. Thank you, because this is important for me. Otherwise, you know, it, I I need to be entertaining. It's more entertaining when I have Jim here because I can actually be my, more myself. No, I'll, I'll be watching. Don't worry. Staying at the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do love Jim. He's very entertaining, though, especially on his streams. Extremely entertaining. You should see me when I'm at a drink. This kid. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I know. Uh, me too. <laughs> which I have to go to the store later today. <laughs> no, I do. The one thing that I'm still not used to, in the States we have stores open 24 hours. Not all, but some. Some grocery stores. And of course here, um, well, you know, Sundays, no, and anything past. And this is a good thing to remember. If you do visit, uh, well at least in Catalonia, Barcelona, the stores, the grocery stores typically, typically close at 9. Yeah? So they open at around 8 in the morning? Yeah. 8, 8 a.m. they open and 9 p.m. they close. And if you do come to Spain, the, the Bravo is expensive. Yeah? They have a lot more, well, like uh, choices on what you want or anything else, but they're a little expensive because they're not from here. They're from Pais Basco or they're from uh, the Basque country. 
Orozki, huh? they bought the company out. If you want to go to Macadana, Macadana's good. Macadana has fair prices, and they're very good. The quality's good, yeah. Yeah, everything's good. And even if you get their brand of stuff, what is it, Hacienda? Or yeah, Hacienda. Hacienda. They have some really good products. And then if you go to Dia, yeah, check yeah. check the things when you go to Dia. It's still okay, but check. In in, ge- in general, I find the quality of meat in Macadona is better. It's good. Um, I mean, li- little is good. I mean, we you know, we, you know. <laughs> we have little in the UK as well, and little is good over here, and and you can buy a lot of things. Or if I'm buying meat cuts, dip, I'll, I'll get dip, a portion have, or the I have, mi- I have mixed feelings with a little. Yeah. I don't like the produce. No, I don't like the fresh produce as well. The fresh produce, yeah. the veggie, the veggies no. and fruit. No, but I'll tell you what, the bakery's not that bad. No, no when you I, go to Little, yes. we we eat a lot of the cookies and the croissants, but they're just really good for for Little. And I mean, I've been to Little in Greece, and uh, Italy, France, Spain. No, oh, they do really good. <laughs> this is. Harry, this is my it's, tripod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not staying here. If you, if, if no. Carrie, if you're interested, I'll I will I'll send you the link for this tripod. But it's like really good for like when you're mounting your um, mobile phone as well. Well, we have. Uh, it should be five more minutes. Where's Threw the fork away. Okay. Just to uh, yeah. change it. All right. So, all right, Seahouse, now if you remember, if you take the video back to earlier, it'll be, um, you'll see that it's not as running now. It's thickened a little bit because the potatoes have absorbed the egg yolk, you know, because it's hot. All right, so now we're going to, we're going to wait a few more minutes. Just a couple, it's okay. We're, we want to make a good tortilla. We don't want to make a super quick one that's not tasty. You see, I'm learning watching this. Yeah. Because I'll I tell you something, and I'll tell everybody who's watching this as well, is that um, I, I, th- 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 these are not easy to make. They, they are not... They, what? There's, tortillas, yeah. No, no. no. The, the, the cooking of the tortillas is, is, is quite tricky, and you have to get it right, yeah? All right. And I tend to probably rush the preparation of the onions, and I notice having yours, because you've really slowly cooked the onions, the I sweetness comes through. But still not as much as I did for the video. Because that video, it took me four hours with the camera. Yeah, the camera it didn't take me four hours to cook. It took me four hours fiddling with the camera. When you caramelize the onions, though, all right, so caramelizing the onions affects the flavor. So that's when you want the sweetness of a onion tortilla, you know, a potato and onion tortilla. The, the process that we're doing now is to develop that soft center. Instead of having a, if you have a runny tortilla, either it's going to be overdone and overcooked, or it's going to be runny as water. So when you cut into it, it's not done and you have to put it in the microwave to fix it. The process that we're doing now is to give this, like with the starch and everything that's in the, um, in the mix right now, and to allow the egg yolk to absorb, so that way, when you cut into the potato, it, because most of the people here like the well, the tortillas a little underdone, and I do too, because that way you can put it on toast or bread, easy and simple. Um, because the worst thing for us and Jim as well for English is taking an egg and overcooking it to where mm-hmm. it's bone dry. This is a big no-no. I seriously. This is a big no-no. So, so if you see a video like Gordon Ramsay cooking with uh, how to make a perfect scrambled egg, scrambled egg, that video is a perfect example of a perfect scrambled egg. You use a little bit of cream fresh, start the cooking process, you mix, 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 on and off the heat, voila, done, it's easy. Well, thank you, Mr. McFluffy. Thank you for coming today. I appreciate it. Seriously. And enjoy the rest of your day in, in the UK. Um, it's very tricky to make, so it's like maybe running in the middle. See, no, but this is why, this is like what I'm saying. So now is the most important detail. You let it sit. Yeah, you let it sit. The liquid will absorb. And that way, because we're going to cook with a hot pan for one minute on high heat, about one minute, 30 seconds to a minute. Then we're going to turn it down to medium heat for about two minutes. You're going to flip. I'm going to do the same. 
And with the amount of um, protocol product that we have, or the amount of the mix, it should be perfectly runny, not runny runny, but just underdone in the center. Yeah, it's the idea. I still mess tortillas up too. I mean, it's, this is how it is. It's the normal thing when cooking and making tortillas. But the important thing is the taste, the flavor, and the second is the, uh, well, the texture. Yes. Well, not when Miriam made it. <laughs> but it's the same principle, Mum, but not the one when Miriam made it. <laughs> well, Miriam makes tortillas at home. Yeah, but not like yours. <laughs> yeah, but she knows how. Yeah, but this, but this is what I was saying about this is the thing we tend to get wrong. We either rush the cooking of the onions, mm -hmm. or, uh, or the, the potatoes we get right, yeah? Hmm. But like I said to you before, the difficult part for me... It's, sorry guys, this is mostly a Q&A today. <laughs> <Yeah. Yes. laughs> the um, difficult part for me is the, the, the temperature and cook, mm -hmm. how long to cook before you flip. I, well, both me and Miriam will put it in and we wait till it's and then they'll almost cook through yeah, no, and then no, we no, flip no, and then no. it's burnt on one side. See, see, okay, you can easily burn it, yeah, if the pan's too, I still burn it, it happens, it's occasionally, um, but the thing is, is uh, in the restaurants, it's a little easier because if it's burnt, you toss it and you make another one. At home, you can't throw the products out so much because, you know, it's, it's money, it's food. Um, <laughs> they so yummy Spanish omelet. I know. Well, if anybody, like I said before, well, we have ten people on. But if anybody, like I said before, wants to see a step-by-step -step video on how to make a perfect Spanish Spanish tortilla, I made one last year. You can see that video. It's like five, six minutes, more or less, and it's step by step. I have all the numbers on there. It's super easy to follow. So this is the video to well to have a chat and then that one's the one to go back and do it and recreate it and hit the like up button and subscribe <laughs> if you haven't done so already on all the platforms. It'll be fantastic if you do this. Muy bien. Oh, beautiful weather. Yeah, it's getting warm in here now. Yeah. Scotland. Well, it's been, it's been no, oh, no, Scotland's pretty, but I'm just saying the weather typically is worse than London. It's raining all the time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jim and Jim. Yeah, JJ. J and JJ. And well, here, J I don't like my name in Spanish. Jaime. Or, or... Famous. Jaime. Well, you've got Jaima, which is like a uh, no, well, Catalan okay. one, or Jaima. Jaima. I like Jaima better, though, yeah. because here they pronounce the J as a J is a <laughs> sound. And like in mujer or anything like this. Well, I just, I like my name in English. But when I first met Miriam, we came here and I was introducing myself. Everybody would call me like him. Like him. <laughs> because it's like the J is a jota. Yeah. So it's like him. Yeah, it's pronounced, it's not silent, but um, yeah, it's a little different. My nickname, my nickname in... Or Jim, call me as well. Yeah, my nickname in London was Jimmy. I, I don't like Jimmy, but I'm used to it now. And then, because my dad's Jim, he's Jim, I'm Jim. Yeah. I have a lot of other friends that are Jim as well. A lot of Jameses, yeah. If we, if we get very... all three of us together, we can cook together and have the three Jameses cooking. <laughs> that will be the three amigos. But yeah. you know, the, the, yeah, but, yeah, but the thing is, is Matt, too bad his, well, his middle, I don't, no, he doesn't have a middle name, does he? I'm not sure. Do you have a middle name? I, mm, long story, Matt, which my mum will probably explain to you, but I, I, won't, I won't go into it on the stream. No. Well... My dad doesn't have a middle name because the story that my dad said was that they didn't have enough money to pay to have a middle name in England at that time. I don't fully believe the story, but you know, this is what my stories that my dad would normally tell me when I was little. Mmm, fish and chips. Aye, fish and Carrie's making Aye. fish and chips. Oh, fish and chips. And then, and knowing Carrie, it'll be like a very healthy version of fish and chips. Drowned eggs. Oh yeah, the drowned eggs. Yeah, it wasn't. It's not a pretty dish, but it tastes really good. Well, I can make it nicer next time. I, I didn't have all the equipment with me in Kimbrels. I've been moving a lot this past year. Oh, I'll still call you James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's the same thing that my dad used to do. Only grandma could call him James. I was little James, and you know my dad was big James, and that's it. 
No, I mean, I've, I've, been, I've been in gym since I was at school, so See? I'm kind of stuck. Well, that's looking good. Yeah, all right, so, okay. So more or less, I'm gonna take the aluminum away. More or less, this consistency is what you want. It's, it's still a little runny, yeah? And you can leave this for a few more minutes, but more or less, this is the consistency. So, now we're going to make the tortilla. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this one because okay. because no, you this one's too big. This okay. this is like for a big pot, and I'm gonna create a fire. I think we'll be okay once you get. No, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's see, it's okay. All right, now what you can do, the oil here, just so everybody can see, this has a lot of starch in it, yeah, because it has the, well, the proteins and everything still from the potato. I'm going to use, a, and it tastes like potato, by the way, I'm going to use this now for the pan. I'm not going to use fresh oil to save it. We use this once. You can use this again for another tortilla within at least a week or so. But you want to be careful because this has, this is not just oil, it's been contaminated with the potatoes and also with the onions. So the material in here will turn nasty within a few days. So you want to use this within a few days after using it the first time. And when I mean use it, use it up and get rid of it. Unless you have um, the Muslim cloth or some cheesecloth to put it through. The only option. Good. Filter it, yeah? Yeah, filter it. I, I need to get some cheese cloth, actually. All right, so... Mm. It, I'm, I'm still not used to cooking with the gas burners again because we didn't have gas in uh, the other flat. We had induction, and it's immediate. All right, so... Now, hot pan... A decent amount of oil. This. Decent. Okay. And I'm right handed, so forgive me for covering up the camera. Okay. Pan's not hot enough. That's all right. We're going to leave about one minute. It has a lot of oil in it. Don't worry about it. It's gonna, the oil is going to get everywhere, so not to worry. About one minute, I'm counting in my head. Don't worry. Just make, make a tweak right here. <laughs> this is Jim's. Shoulder, by the way, yeah? You still can't see his face. That's all you, that's all you, that's all you get. <laughs> you have to, like, pay a little bit more money in our Hi, hi, that's right. We have the donation tab below if anyone can donate to help, uh, well, us afford a, a bit more equipment. That would be fantastic because now it's starting to get to the point yeah. where it's, it's been costing a lot to get the, the YouTube channel you know, a little better each and every time, more equipment, more things, more pans, by the way, more, everything costs money today. So if you do donate, I'd be internally grateful. Okay, now. A little faster. About one minute. The important thing is to not have it to stick. Yeah, I would say a nonstick pan or uh, a lot of oil in the pan. Okay, now it's hot. On low, I'm gonna put it back on this one. On low to medium heat for about two minutes. Let me set a timer. I'm doing this all by feel right now, so we'll see if it's perfect. Because I've been, a, I'm a little out of tortilla practice. <laughs> As a, somebody that makes a lot of tortillas, a Spanish chef, 
that with a better pot well with a better pan than this and big pans i mean pans that are like this big yeah they'll be able to flip the entire thing me no because one I'm, i don't want to burn myself and i don't want everything all over the floor it'd be a mess no the laptop or the walls everything it happens no i did it once did you yeah i flipped it and i got it all over the floor and it was awful did you save any of it no we went in the bins Okay, well, see, from experience, this is, this is, it happens. This, it happens, and it happens with people that have been doing it and for it, a while. Too. And it's a lot harder than doing a pancake, for sure. Yeah. yeah. No, it is. It's not the same. We need them with a plate. I get really scared sometimes. Yeah. No, well, I'll show you a little trick in the minute. Miriam used to have these um, pans that used to like connect together. So it's like you'd have like one pan and it, it would like clip with another pan on top. And then you just like flip, flip them over so the contents went mm. from one pan to the other. Mm. It was amazing. They were from Spain though, so I <laughs> it was probably invented just for that process. Yeah, probably. But I'll show you a trick in a minute. So, um, what was I going to say? If you see, if everybody on camera can see, I put a lot of oil in, but that oil has been absorbed. And you can see this pan is non-stick, but it's a little old. So it's not 100% anymore non-stick. So as long as you can tell that it, it, it moves in the pan, it's not sticking. This is the most important thing because once it starts sticking to a pan, this is a big no-no. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. it it's okay. <laughs> We're not going to have accidents today. So the biggest thing when... a little longer the biggest thing when making a tortilla flip is just just real quick just to take it off the heat so i can explain you never this is one important thing you never take the plate yeah like this you never do it over the fire this is one important thing because this has oil in it and this is gas and oil and gas don't mix they burn yeah the other thing is you never want to do it towards you meaning tilting this pan at an angle that's more towards you because what's going to happen when it flips over it's going to run down your arm and what happens when you this is at you know boiling temperature or hot very hot what happens when it touches this part of your skin you're burnt and then what you're going to cry so don't do that well <laughs> yeah don't do that so you want to hold it at a bit of an angle away from you and we're going to do it in the sink because the mess goes in the sink and not the floor you know? just little tidbits little tips that help the other thing this is another thing i'm going to take my uh i'm going to take a little cloth as well so we're going to come over here yep on top Okay, I'm going to grab it like so, yeah, voila, and the onion's burnt a little bit, just a little, I don't like that, but it's acceptable, okay, the other side is going to be the pit photo side, so I cover that up, anyway, so you get the pan hot again, um, you shouldn't need any more oil, but if you need a little more, you can add a little more. Do, 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 do. I'll add a little more. Just a little. How's everybody doing here? Everybody still with us? No, no, it's true. Yeah, it is. Little tips. I'm all about little tips. Saves lives. It saves lives. It can save lives. Yeah? But I'm all about little tips. Uh, little tips help you a lot when you're working. And to be honest, after working for so long in the kitchen, you don't think about this anymore. But when you start seeing other people do things, yeah, it helps. Pan's hot. Don't burn the pan. Yeah. In it goes. at an angle and I'm tucking in the corners to make it more of a round shape instead of flat. 
because I want I want to more or less one inch the tortilla. Yeah. Okay. And you can see when I move it in the pan, how it's moving. That's what you want. It's like a like a nice blanc. Hmm. Okay. Uh, to do Henry. I, at the wedding, there was a lot of music after the wedding at the at the uh, reception. So I, I'm still thinking about all the music, all the <laughs> dancing, and everything. So <laughs> it was fun because this was the first time that all of us could actually do something after a year and a half. Oh, por fin! No, <laughs> we were so happy. I'm gonna turn down the heat. All right. Now, with a tortilla, and this is the truth, with a tortilla. To make a perfect photo, you get two chances. You get the first chance, and when you first put it in, and then you get the second chance when you flip it for the other side. So if this side's burnt, the other side won't look it. I'm just giving little tidbits, yeah? But I'll notice the taste if it's burnt, trust me. So if you make it for me, don't burn it. Oh, oh, good same. vibes. Oh, thank you. I'm the same as you, though. The, the first side is the one that goes on the plate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like making pancakes. Yeah. So you want to... Because the first one, you if you, oh, you, you throw it twist it up, time, yeah. you toss it, yeah, exactly. and the second one's the best one. But if you can do this in the pan, where, where it's moving, that's good. And this is a rough estimate about two minutes we have two to three minutes on each side on low to medium heat this has a lot of leeway yeah you have a lot of room for uh what is it not error so well, you do have room for error yeah, but for yeah you do you have a lot of room for error if it's too wet after you make it you can pop it in the microwave for a few seconds and that's it Okay, we might see. Yeah, yeah, this is like. All right, I'll tell you a funny story, yeah? So, my dad's English. Uh, he was the executive chef for Los Ventana Canyon in Arizona in Tucson. And the owner of Y Saint Leon, uh, right now I'm saying, I'm forgetting my friends, Y Saint Leon came to visit him, the perfume, um, the head, the head guy and the CEO, and he asked my dad, because he's French, and he knew my dad was English, and the, the French and English don't like each other. He sent my dad a color chart of how to make toast. And it had like 50 different shades of toast, you know, the colors of toast. And he asked my dad, my father, who was the executive chef at the time, if he knew how to make toast. And of course my dad knows how to make toast, he's English, we love toast. So, no, there are, there's many, many, many different shades of, well, <laughs> the perfect shade, you know? There's a lot. It's a little burnt well, like, for well, me. Well, like some people do like burnt toast, though, as well. I don't know. Yeah. I hate that. I hate it. No, and here's the thing, though, with the toast. I had a German chef in London. He told me, we'll leave that in the pan just for a second, because it's done. But he told me uh, that... If you mess the toast up the first time, and, it ate, and all of us would try to like scrape it, yeah? But then he says, but all those little burnt pieces go into the other crevices in the toast, and you still taste it. It doesn't do anything. You have to toss it and do it again. That's the truth, huh? That's the truth. All right, so it's a little bit of a mess when making a tortilla. Oops, not that chip. Mom, the glory. A moment of glory. All right, so oh, that's not hot. All right, I didn't check the bottom because I think oh, it's okay. But this this has more, a little more color to it. Do do do. Where's the knife? Do do do. Okay. Aye. Right. This camera or the other yeah, one? That's, that's good. This one. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, guys. Is everybody ready for the moment? Yes? No, it's ready to sign. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the moment of truth. Let's see. It may be a little overdone, actually. Ooh. Oh, that's looking nice. Looking nice. 
It is. It's still, it's still got. It's, it's a tad. I was speaking too much, yeah? It's a tad. No. No, it's, it's got another juice in it. It's squishy. It has juice in it. Okay. Well, anyway. All right. Anyway. Yeah, I was speaking too much. <laughs> anyway, this or a little more underdone is perfect. So two minutes, low to medium heat. You have to know your stove and to know how to cook. And now I need to, I have to do a photo for a thumbnail. Now I need to think about how I want to present this. <laughs> Um, and... But if you guys can see, that should be. Come down a little bit. Hold on. Oops. Here you go. There you go. All right. That should be more or less. Yeah, more or less. In between, not too runny and you know not, not dry. dry. Not dry. That's the important thing. That's it. It's a very easy way to make a tortilla at home. The only thing that I would critique myself on is to caramelize the onions a little longer, you know, because then it brings up more flavor, more caramelization, before you add the potatoes. And then you can add the potatoes and let it cook and, well, you know, that's it. You have lunch. You know, his, his wife is always telling him off Sorry, using guys. a knife on a, on a plate. Like scraping the plate with a knife. Oh, I'm scraping them, but it, okay. This is my Gustav knife. I love this knife. It's my knife that I it goes everywhere with me. I don't use it on a hard surface like cutting, um, chopping, or anything on the counter. Metal, no, on the cutting board. But to cut it on the plate for a second, it's not gonna break the knife. Well, I'm gonna sharpen it anyway. Although my mom hates the sound. You know, like when we even do anything with the chalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I understand. Well, ready. Oh, perfect. Oh, thank you. Same difference. I'm cutting. <laughs> oh, good. I'll just cut the last 15 minutes. Oh, well, the last 15 minutes is probably the most interesting. <laughs> yeah. The tastiest minutes. Yeah, the tastiest minutes. Oh, it's already 2.30. Yeah, yeah. Three, no, 3.30. Three, sorry, 3.30. Oh, wow, that time, went, that time goes by quick. Thanks, Jones, one of us when I got it. Oh, you, oh, not a problem, huh? Listen, trust me, if you have any questions or if you have any doubts on anything, just ask. It's not a problem, I'm here. And Jim's here as well. So, for tech problems, ask Jim. For cooking <laughs> problems, ask me. But Jim knows a lot with the cameras, photography, and he's also teaching English as well. And, you know, if you know anybody that wants English lessons, call him. No, 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 no. He, he does a lot, yeah? But he's busy, but he, he does do a lot. Oh, thank you. Well, guys, I think this is it, no? We're about ready. <laughs> this is it. We're about done. Everything's good. The tortilla came out looking good. Uh, it's a little too hot to eat. We're going to eat it in a second. Now, this is lunch for us. And, well, thank you very much, first of all, for everybody showing up. Seriously, thank you, because none of this was planned. And like I said, if any of you are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel or to Twitch, please do, as well as Jim, so this would help both of us out. And as well, if you want to donate anything to the channel, this is not so much just for me to live as much as trying to improve the video, because we want to get better each time, and of course, that takes money to run the cameras, to run the batteries, to run the lights, to buy the ingredients to make food and anything else. And if anybody has, by the way, ideas or suggestions for what we should make for the next live video, leave a comment down below in the chat now or a comment in the video as well or email me or whatever. Okay, guys? So anyway, thank you very much. We'll see you guys again very soon. And now, because I'm doing the stream on three things, now I have to figure out if when I press the button it's going to stop or if I have to do something else. You may see some funny moments, yes? All right. I know, uh, I know you did. Uh, thank you. And everybody that's been subscribed to me so far, thank you for staying with me. I appreciate it a lot. All right, guys. Until then, there's a little, little yeah, break. Until then, and, until then, 
Take care, have a great day, enjoy your day today, and enjoy the beginning of summer. Until then, bye.